Now at 4.30 on WKYT this morning, a woman is recovering this morning after a serious dog attack right in Lexington. We'll hear from neighbors who say this isn't the first time that this has happened. We're tracking a death investigation out of Pulaski County why police are still looking for suspects. And a suspect in a massive bourbon heist is demanding more information on how he was arrested. We'll have the details coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome in. It is your Friday and we're glad you're with us on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Let's check in now with Jim Caldwell, who's in for Micah. He has a look at weather. And the showers are starting to show up, guys, right on cue. And with them getting here so early into parts of Kentucky, that is going to keep our temperatures down today compared to where they very well could have been. Right now, showers filling in across southeastern Kentucky, and there's even more moisture toward the southeast that will continue to spread northwest, and that's going to impact folks here in central Kentucky as well here in the coming hours, and that will mean a bit of a, a wet Friday for most. You can see that big slug of moisture continuing to roll across the Carolinas, Tennessee, Virginia. That's all coming at us, and it'll feed right off the Atlantic Ocean and continue those chances through the day today and even into the weekend as well. So we've got a wetter period coming our way, which is something we actually needed. We'll track it hour by hour coming up here in just a few minutes. All right, a lot to watch. Thank you very much. And new this morning, WKYT is learning about a bizarre shooting overnight in Lexington. Yeah, police still trying to figure out exactly what happened, but they say it all started when a woman walked into UK hospital. Officers say around 12:30 this morning, the woman walked in saying she'd been shot. So officers later figured out that the shooting happened somewhere on the 400 block of Coral Street. Uh, they told us that the woman was sitting in a car when she was shot. Investigators do not have any suspects right now. A Franklin County High School student accused of writing a racial slurs and threats has been suspended and is now facing criminal charges. Franklin High's principal says racial slurs first appeared on bathroom walls last week. That message was removed, but another appeared yesterday morning. The newest one was allegedly a threat against the entire school. The school district spokesperson says the student was identified shortly after. That student is suspended from school for 10 days and is being charged with criminal mischief. Police say other criminal charges are possible. Lexington police are continuing to investigate a dog attack that left a woman with serious injuries. Animal Control says the attack happened yesterday inside the woman's home on Woodward Lane as she broke up a fight among her dogs. A neighbor tells us that the same dog killed his Jack Russell Terrier when he dropped off some fencing at the home. And these dogs have attacked and killed two other dogs on the street. They've attacked two other people on the street. We have done everything we can to try to get, you know, animal control to do something about this. Animal Control says they have responded to the home before. The dog's owner was taken to UK hospital with severe but non life threatening injuries. A Lexington woman found quite a surprise slithering around her home. The woman found, take a look at this, a four foot rat snake in a hall closet yesterday morning. She lives in an apartment on Aldermont Court. Rat snakes are not venomous. The woman called Animal Control and they now have the snake. Lexington police continue to search for suspects in a violent home invasion this morning. Lexington police say a man woke up yesterday to find two strangers in his home on Mount Foraker Drive. We're told they shot the man when he confronted him. It kind of makes you nervous because it was so close. Like it's two houses down, and nothing like that's really happened over here before. Well, the man's injuries are not known at this point. No arrests have been made. WKYT is continuing to track a death investigation that happened overnight in southern Kentucky. The search for a missing man led investigators to a body on Knob Road in Pulaski County, Jones Knob Road. Uh, that was on Wednesday. T today, police are still trying to identify that body, but police have made two arrests in connection to the case. Garrett Weimer is tracking the investigation. The tape is still up on the chain link fence where a gravel offshoot of Jones Knob dead ends. It's quiet, but it's still a crime scene. Deputies say the man who lived here, Edward Van Wormer, was reported missing on the 15th. Investigators found a body at the property on Wednesday. And the medical examiner will determine how long they think the body had been there. But we know that it had not been recently there. Deputies say Van Warmer's son, Jedediah Van Warmer, who neighbors say went by Lee, 
and his son's girlfriend, Amanda Braddock, lived in the home with Van Warmer. But investigators tracked them down in North Carolina, working with deputies there to arrest them for tampering with physical evidence. And with their SWAT team, or with a group of officers, surrounded the house and took these two individuals into custody without a further incident. Neighbors say what happened out here scared them. They didn't want to go on camera because of the circumstances, but they tell me they're glad the two were arrested because they were afraid they'd come back. The medical examiner's report has not yet come back as to whether the body found is Van Warmer, but neighbors say, sadly, there's no doubt in their minds. In Pulaski County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. All right, thanks so much, Garrett. The cause of death has also not been released. Uh, Clenard says he expects to hear results within 24 hours. He also says more charges could be filed after that. A Fayette County jury has convicted a former Lexington firefighter in a hit and run. The jury found Jared McCargo guilty on six counts, including assault and DUI. Police say McCargo backed into Noel Espino outside the beer trap last September. Espino lost his left leg in the crash. The jury recommended 10 years in prison. Police in Madison County are now offering a reward for information in a deadly hit and run in Berea a week ago. Last Friday, someone hit and killed 71 year old Billy Croucher as he walked along Prospect Street in Berea. Berea police are offering up a $1,000 reward in the case. Police say it is rare for them to put up a reward, especially this early in the investigation, but they feel time is crucial in closing this case. Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis says uh, Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir is to blame for all her legal troubles. Davis filed a 40 page legal document Thursday. She says the governor took control of the county clerk's offices and Kentucky marriage law when he ordered the clerks to issue marriage licenses to gay couples last year. Davis is suing Bashir, claiming that issuing marriage licenses violates her religious right to freedom. Governor Bashir has asked a judge to dismiss the suit. Lawyers for the alleged leader in a bourbon theft ring say they want to know who tipped off investigators. The State Journal reports Gilbert Kurtzinger's lawyer filed a motion requesting that information. The Franklin County Sheriff says that Kurtzinger was caught in part because of a text message to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. Kurtzinger received the content of the text message, but his lawyer says the information request wasn't honored because it didn't include the tipster's phone number, name, or address. The bourbon was stolen from two distilleries. It's been called the largest bourbon heist in Kentucky history. Time right now, 438 on WKYT. And the Kentucky Supreme Court is trying to decide whether or not Louisville's new minimum wage law is legal. The city council voted to raise it to $9 last year, but the Kentucky Restaurant Association sued. A state appeals court upheld the wage in June. Lexington discussed a minimum wage increase, but has tabled it until the Louisville case is resolved. Lexington sanitation workers held a rally yesterday at the city's Urban County Council meeting. They were there to express their concerns about on-the-job safety. Earlier this week, sanitation workers and city officials reached a tentative agreement on numerous labor disputes. The sanitation union is now waiting for the city to finalize that agreement. Every day our job is getting dangerous and dangerous. Uh, our safety program is not nothing like it used to be. A union representative said they were continuing the rally. Employees feel that they are not being heard. WKYT this morning just getting started up and added here on this Friday and it's good to have you along coming up 439. A Moms Every Day has a yummy and healthy snack idea when we return. And the showers are starting to press into southeastern Kentucky, and we're going to continue to see that filter in the area through the day today. We'll track all of it coming up.